welcome back to my channel. I am Cowgirl Kenzie, the chronically ill cowgirl, and I make videos related to chronic illness and advocacy, awareness, farm life, just all the things going on in my life. So if you are interested in that, uh, stick around and I hope you enjoy this video. Uh, if you're new here, welcome, welcome. I'm so happy you're here. <laughs> And if you're not new here, then welcome back. I am so thankful that you guys come back to watch my videos, <laughs> especially for somebody who lives in the middle of bumfuck nowhere. Like, it's, it's wild to me that anybody wants to watch my videos. <laughs> so I appreciate you guys coming to watch and I hope that y'all will subscribe and leave a like down below and comment if you feel up to it. So let's jump into the video. <laughs> So, currently, my mom and I are working on getting the cars washed real good because it is now way past winter and there's a lot of nasty stuff that they like to put on the roads that you don't want to leave on your car. So, here we go. Let's go in. Hood. Whoever did this paint job did a horrible job. It's only been like barely two years since this hood was painted. It's sad. We got paint chips all over the ground. Rosie! You wanna say hi, Rosie? Pretty girl? Got your new pretty collar on. Yeah. You pretty girl. Max is over raking the lawn, getting all the twigs off the lawn from the windstorms that we've been having that came all out of this freaking tree. <laughs> Covered the lawn. Well, we just got back from checking on cattle. And I'm gonna be honest, I'm just really not in the best headspace today, I guess. It's been quite a struggle recently trying to balance life and the things that I want to do, the things that I need to do, and trying to take care of myself, learning how to take care of myself, because as a child, I didn't really learn that shit. Like, I knew you're supposed to brush your teeth and like take a shower and keep yourself clean and like feed yourself. But like, when it comes to chronic illness, there's so much more that comes into it that it, a simple self-care thing can become a mountain of a task and it sucks. It really sucks trying to figure it out and balance it out and just trying to enjoy my life because it's not the easiest, you know? 
I'm sure a lot of you with chronic illness can understand and I'm, even those that don't can probably understand to a certain level. It's just, I don't know. But anyways, I'm making dinner. We're grilling burgers tonight, so I figured I'd bring you guys along and we'll see how the day goes. So right now I've got two pounds of hamburger sitting and defrosting in or de-thawing, I guess would be the word, in this pot so that then here soon I can make some patties. And I'll be honest, I just feel like shit today. I don't really know what caused it today. Like, I, we actually did really good last night with getting, you know, because we Max and I went out to dinner last night for a dinner date and we were really good like we actually got back home by like seven o'clock I think seven seven thirty ish and like still went to bed at a pretty reasonable time but for some reason we both woke up feeling like crap and I don't understand why so it's it's been frustrating today because there's so much on my mind and so many things that I want to do and want to accomplish and nobody to help me get it accomplished when I really need a lot of people to help me accomplish these things and I don't think anybody realizes it. A lot of my friends try to help but they don't fully understand the extent of the help that I need and trying to explain it to them almost it feels like I'm begging for something or like begging for attention or I don't know what you would call it but it's just either that or people think I'm exaggerating things and it's like no <laughs> I promise you I'm not I, I wish I was because I hate dealing with this shit it sucks like everybody tries to be like you know strong and inspirational and all that stuff and like getting through it but in the, the reality of it is it sucks like no our lives are not miserable but some days suck sometimes there's weeks and months that suck and there's no nothing you can do to change it besides do your damnedest to take care of yourself and hope and pray that you feel better the next day like <sighs> A lot of people don't realize how taxing that is on you mentally and physically, emotionally. Like, it wears you down, man. It breaks you down so much. And I've watched it happen with my dad. I'm watching it happen with myself. I'm watching it happen with my friends who also have chronic illnesses and health issues and stuff. It's just heartbreaking it sucks we support each other the best that we can but the reality of it is we need help and not many people want to help so yeah. I guess there's my little rant for this video I don't know I'm just I'm in a shitty headspace I think and Part of it's due to stress, part of it's due to just my physical and mental condition. And part of it is just farm life, unfortunately. And I'm, I'm just really struggling. Really struggling to figure out what I want to do, what my next step is, how to do anything with my life. Like, I just feel like a fuck up all the time and it feels like I can't do anything so like I'm not even worth anything. Like, and it's such a... I know my productivity doesn't equal my worth, but growing up on a farm the way I have it sure as hell feels like it and it's such a tough internal battle I wish so badly that I could 
do more and do better and be better and like I mean I'm trying every day to, to do my best and be my best but at the end of the day it still just feels like I've accomplished nothing like there's no point it just I don't know I don't want to lose my family home but at the same time I don't know if we can do this I don't know if we can make it through this. I don't know if it's something that we can make something into. Like, I, I want to build a fucking empire, you know? Like, to support my family and just have a, a normal, like, halfway comfortable life even would be nice. <laughs> I just want to feel human, you know? I want to feel like I can do something with my life. Be able to grow and... I don't know, it's just... I wish... I could do more right now. But... Since I can't, I'll get stoned and hopefully get out of this shitty ass mindset. Well, afternoon y'all. Uh, it is the next day. I feel like dog shit. Um, I've been incredibly nauseous all morning and part of it I know is because I somehow managed to go to bed last night without taking my meds. I don't know how it happened but it did. So I woke up feeling really really nauseous this morning and I have been slowly trying to recover from that. I got my morning pills in me, I ate some crackers, had a Red Bull to try and wake myself up and now I am working on some gluten-free mac and cheese so that hopefully my stomach does not hate me. I am so tired. I feel so physically weak today. It's ridiculous. Like I feel like I could just drop. Like my whole body just feels like jello right now. I hate it. Cause then it's like I, I can hardly even walk or stand up correctly or sit. It's it, it's just miserable. And trying to lay down, oh my god, I got I felt so sick trying to lay back down earlier. I just I I gotta be upright. Either sitting or standing. So welcome to my life. <laughs> I hate it, but it is what it is. <laughs> oh god. So, I've pretty much just been watching YouTube this morning, trying to distract myself and not think about throwing up. So, yeah. Lovely. It's lovely. But, you know what? We're focusing on having a good day, enjoying my day, even if I feel like shit. That is the key. Decided to paint my nails to try and help myself feel better. So nice now my, my nails look nice. So I did a lot of desk work stuff. I brought it down to the couch because I just didn't have the energy to sit up at my desk. So yeah. Now I am getting ready to go to my friend's graduation dinner. Um, she just graduated with her uh, bachelor's degree. 
I believe. Yes, her bachelor's degree. So uh, we're going over to her place to have pizza and celebrate. So yeah. So it is the next day again. I did not film much yesterday because I felt like dog shit, as I had said in probably one of the previous clips. Uh, today is our day off, which is very weird for me to say because I have not said my day off since I was in college and was a cashier <laughs> at Shopco, which doesn't exist anymore. If any of you know what Shopco is, comment down below. <laughs> Because it does not exist anymore and I miss that place. I do not miss working there. I hated working there, but I miss that place. <laughs> so anyways, today is our day off, as I said, and it feels very weird. It's... I don't know how to function. Don't know what to do. So I'm just kind of relaxing right now. But it feels weird because it's kind of what I do just about every day. When I feel like shit anyways. So it's like, I don't know, I don't know what to do. So I figured I would get my vlog camera and continue on this, this vlog. And uh, maybe, maybe I'll do something fun. I don't know. But anyways, I am really struggling in my brain because I do not know what to do right now. It's very weird because it's like, it's my day off. I should do something for me that's fun and I don't know what that is. I really don't. <laughs> it's been so long since I've like had a day to myself that like I can do something, you know? I don't know. It, it's so weird for me to like, I don't know. It, it's hard to explain. If you've grown up on a farm, you probably understand what I mean. Or at least some sort of similar situation like this where you're pretty much have no days off and even if you do have a day off it's not really a day off because you're usually still working but I'm trying to like actually give myself a day off so I can de-stress a little and just relax so yeah uh, we'll see what I get into I'm hopefully gonna maybe work on some sort of crafty project or paint or I don't know something <laughs> I don't know. We'll find out, I guess. But, anyways. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoy this video. <laughs> well, Max and I went to town to grab some groceries real quick. And we've been back for probably a half hour now. Um, so when we got back, we finally got the car washed. And it looks so much better. And next step is going to be detailing hardcore on the inside because it is a disaster on the inside and I mean it's certainly like it's clean there's no not garbage anywhere or anything it's just like coffee spills from my mom driving it all, all sorts of dust just it's mostly dust and dirt that needs to get cleaned out because there's just so much dust that gets inside the car from living on a gravel road and being on a farm so that's going to be the main thing next with it, but I figured I would give you guys a shot. It is so windy, so I hope you can hear me, but uh, it looks so much nicer. We got the wheels, the scrub, all the bugs off. It's so pretty. My dad's out there. You can probably hear the tractor moving some stuff around. But yeah, I think it looks amazing. Even though it's my shit, it still looks very nice now that it's clean. Hi, babies! <laughs> Hi, Chief. <laughs> Little babies. Hi, Hermione. Little baby. <laughs> oh, can you go back to the
Chiefy boy. I'm so confused. I don't know. I'm not sure about this. Whoa, dude. Whoa. Oh, <laughs> nope, I'm gonna hide. <laughs> Hey y'all, I just realized that I completely forgot to, forgotted, <laughs> I completely forgot to end off my vlog earlier, so uh, it's been a couple days, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and please leave a like down below if you did, um, sub subscribe if you haven't, and uh, I love you guys so much, I hope you have a fantastic week, bye!